LPD has increased proactive patrols, also known as foot patrols. Currently, there are at least nine officers on the beat at all times, and frequently I approve more. Proactive patrol officers' goal is to walk around downtown, interact with community members, spend time with youths in various locations throughout the community, and be available and on duty for calls. All officers are doing proactive patrols, not just these foot patrols, including our beat officers, in addition to answering the regular calls for service. In my 32 years as being a police officer, I have not seen us do more. We also understand that we need to be even more of a presence throughout the community. So to that end, we are requesting funding for three months of LPD overtime from the Lewiston City Council. That overtime funding, if approved, will go toward more proactive patrol officers on each shift. When a shot rings out, we get several calls on it and we respond. And we need to ensure that we have enough officers to do so safely and efficiently. We need as many tools in the toolbox as we can, and we're pushing for more as much as we can at the state and federal levels. As many of you may know, LPD work works closely with many state and federal law enforcement agencies, including the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, or ATF, the FBI's Safe Streets Task Force, both the main drug enforcement agency and the federal DEA, as well as the U.S. Attorney's Office. We'll continue to do that and increase that work where possible, particularly where there is an overlap with gun violence. We've also identified in our requesting more federal support for Lewiston, including from the U.S. Marshals Service and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. We will or have assigned officers to this work. Our work with these agencies will allow us to utilize their resources, their technology, and other supports as they assist us in these gun violence investigations. The city also plans to request additional support from the Federal Office on Gun Prevention, Gun Violence Prevention, and are looking forward to our conversations with them. These federal agencies and offices are ready and willing to do what they can do to help us out and get us the resources that we need. And we are very grateful for their help. We have requested a demo for some advanced camera technology, which has specific capabilities to, that will help us address gun violence, particularly drive-by shootings. We know community members have safety concerns. Community members have related, have related to talking to law enforcement. They may fear retribution or further involvement, which makes camera footage even more valuable because sometimes that's what makes or breaks a case. As time goes on and we see out the outcomes from these changes and supports, we will adapt to these pieces of the plan to further our efforts and communicate that work to all of you. Next. We plan to further engage with community organizations, community leaders, parents, youth, to provide information, improve communication, and increase understanding and trust. Our community has come a long way in the last 25 years. And like many other communities across the United States, we have more work to do. Just as we can unite and cheer on our Class A champion soccer or mock trial team, we also need to share responsibility and collectively confront the challenges we face now. To that end, I want to thank the community organizations that have stepped up to host conversations about gun violence. These conversations are not easy to have, never mind convene. On behalf of everyone at the City of Lewiston, I'd like to thank Generational NOR, IFCA Community Services, the Immigrant Resource Center of Maine, LA Youth Network, Maine Community Integration, Maine Immigrant and Refugee Services, the Somali Bantu Community Association, the Sustainable Livelihoods Relief Organization, Tree Street, Tree Street Youth, United Youth Empowerment Services, and many others for your leadership. These conversations have been critical to informing the city's plan for community engagement aspects of this work. We know that to prevent and respond to gun violence effectively, we need to do it in a partnership with the community. Some aspects of the city's plan moving forward include supporting existing community conversation efforts. We want to continue to encourage community conversations. We hope that more community members will engage, including local and
and state policymakers, city staff, in addition to us at the LPD, youth and parents, educators, and more. I'd like to invite Amran Osman, founder and executive director of Generational North, to offer a few words. <laughs> 